Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nick. As always, you can call me Tetra Ninja, and we're once again playing some Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. And I'm gonna start off this session by this yellow cassette has been bothering me for a couple of sessions now, and I didn't really want to. Clouds approaching. I didn't want to clouds. <laughs> I didn't really want to break up the gameplay from just listening to audio tapes. But from what I gather, these are actually fairly important to the storyline, so we're gonna jump right into it. Snake, I wanted to ask you about the man on fire. What do you remember from the hospital? Anything we can use? Well, he took off the moment the sprinklers started up. Sprinklers? The fire system? And when he got sprayed with water from the burst pipe, it slowed him down. When we escaped on horseback, he wouldn't cross the river either. And then it started to rain. And he disappeared. Water against fire. Is it that simple? I mean, it makes sense. It's just hard to believe it would work on a guy like that. See, children? Pokemon has been teaching us right since like 1998, I think. <laughs> I don't even know. Lot said the number of private forces is increasing, and they modeled themselves after us. They're a far cry from the likes of us. But why? Nine years ago, we made enemies of the world as a nuclear equipped force, independent of ideology or state. Yes. Sooner or later, the real UN would have stepped in. So why are they giving these PFs free reign? That's our fault, too. What do you mean? What happened nine years ago was a real problem for a lot of people. An organization as big as ours, with our facilities, was wiped off the map. Not an easy thing to hide. But if our existence came to light, so would the names of our clients. We had contracts all over, east and west, from superpowers to banana republics, the lot. Our clients denied all association with the likes of us. They had to make sure things didn't blow up on them. But at the same time, they missed us. They really missed us. The demand for armies for hire was as strong as ever. The international community turned a blind eye to what happened to us, despite still needing people who could do our jobs. History couldn't afford to lose us. As soon as we were gone, they needed a replacement. So private forces spread everywhere. And they're all just a phone call away. But still... I know. PFs are totally different from what we envisioned. Nation states, revolutionaries, terrorists... They have a lot of clients. And Cypher is one of them. Cypher stays anonymous, but I know their work when I see it. In the eyes of those clients, the world's PFs are all just expendable pawns. The clients don't have to worry about losing their own men. Nobody knows they're involved, and PFs are cheap. In short, the world is chewing up soldiers and spitting them out. Even some of the old Mother Base's survivors are still working for PFs. Some guys created their own smaller forces. Others were taken on by emerging PFs. Everybody's gone their separate ways. But none of them are living their dream. Because they're not fighting with you. Of course, I tried to headhunt as many of them as I could for Diamond Dogs. It was all a waste of time. They said they weren't interested without you to lead them. But now you're back. And everything's gonna change. We'll unite all private forces under you. Transcending nations and economies. What is a nation? Just a patch of dirt. The bonds among us will surpass nations. And that's what'll put the world under our control. We'll establish a new kind of country. Redefine the very concept of it. Even Cypher will be below us. An extraterritorial federation of military nations. The United States of Force. Once word of Big Boss's return starts traveling, that'll be our true deterrent against Cypher. In other words, no one will dare to come gunning for you. How do you figure? Cypher lacks a large-scale fighting force. PFs are the perfect tool for them. But those PFs revere you. The legendary Big Boss. If Cypher killed you now, they wouldn't take it lying down. Maybe they'd even go looking for revenge. But they definitely wouldn't keep doing Cypher's dirty work, even if it put their lives at stake. That's why it's no longer a benefit to Cypher to get rid of you. The very fact that you're alive is our greatest defense against Cypher. Nice to know. It'll buy us some time while we get back to full strength. Just keep in mind that what I'm saying is generalizing a lot. In practice, 
The PFs around the world don't know your face. Just declaring that you're Big Boss won't be enough to convince them. And if they see you as an enemy, they'll come at you with everything they've got. Some hero. That's why you need to bring them back to Mother Base. Show them on your terms that you really are the one and only Big Boss. Once you've proven that, they won't hesitate to join us. I almost feel like these cassettes are kind of a way to move against what has always been the norm of Metal Gear games. Very long cutscenes. <laughs> so, yeah. At Mother Base number one. Kaz, what about the unit that attacked us in the mist? You knew something about them. That wasn't my first run in with them. It happened right before I was captured by the Soviets. We were on the Zero Line that day, the Afghan side, on our way back from training the Mujahideen at a mountain camp in Kuna province. There's a lot of that work in Afghanistan. Most PFs shy away from it because it draws too much attention. But for us, that was the whole point. The job itself went great. We just had to make it back to a tribal area in Pakistan. But all of a sudden, visibility got real bad. It was no sandstorm. Our point man gave the strange report. He said he could see skulls in the mist. Skulls? The next moment he went silent. We scrambled into formation, right before his arms and legs came raining down on us. It was always supposed to be a dangerous mission, so I had Diamond Dogs very best with me. We were calling out to each other. But one by one, their voices just went dead. Whatever happened to me, I lost consciousness before I knew it. When I came to, I was in a Soviet camp, tied to an interrogation chair. Could they be some new Spetsnaz unit? No. The ones that interrogated me were just the average rank and file. Whatever group attacked us, the way they moved was just insane. And that mist, appearing out of nowhere. The Soviets don't have tech like that. If they did, Ocelot would have heard about it. I doubt the West does either. Otherwise, the folks at Langley would be sleeping a lot easier. Why'd they come after you? Wish I knew. I'm the only one who survived, though I don't think they planned it that way. If I was their target, they wouldn't have just handed me over to the 40th Army. Whatever the case, we need to watch our step until we know who they really are. And boss, if you ever do run into them again, don't try to take them on. You just get the hell out of there. It's the but plan. I dealing with Zero, with Cypher. It was a somewhat I feel like what I want to do is I just want to listen to these while on missions, so that's too bad. Cypher had no army of their own, so they wanted us. They wanted our strength. They approached there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, the missions that we're just walking around and kind of sticking past. It'll give me something to listen to in the background and I also keep the gameplay kind of moving around. Deploying. to abort this mission because I don't have a rocket launcher yet. I'm just gonna go to the next one, especially if this is gonna be a time mission. Please select a mission. Angel with a broken wings. Mission accepted. <laughs> 
come on, Sue! I can't wait till I get my sneaking suit. For you guys, you've not hurt yet. Heard yet. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why Dekelia? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. Lamar Hadi Palace. The target should be somewhere at that outpost. There. That's the target. Okay, that's the guy that I need to get to. But I have also found where the other three prisons are. So I'm gonna go there first. Clouds approaching. Analysis complete. What you want to do here is try to get through this small section as quick as possible because if we take too long, they will actually. Um, happen is they'll actually discover that the prisoners are missing. That is not good for us. First things first, we want to kind of clear the path that we want to take. Screaming. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Look how close these guys go together. It's kind of crazy. Don't mind the g random gun that's on the ground. Spit it out. The map has been updated. Extraction failed. Construction failed. Got some balls. Just 
swear to God, do not kill my prisoner. What is that? I'm gonna take care of this guy first before I make any hasty moves here. You're highly skilled. Analysis complete. You're a specialist. Specialist. He's coming too. Roger that. There's actually a blueprint right here when I first went by. So that's there's the one on that table. I guess I got checkpoints so I don't get it again. When I remember the first prisoner was like right here, wasn't he? So dumb. I think they moved them around because last time the other guy was. It must be constantly rotating. Damn it. Did not see that guy creeping up on me. That asshole. Shooting. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. You got to extract him. 
that metal. Grab this intel. Grab that intel. Now he's moving around a lot more, that's stupid. Because my last prisoner. Fuck. I have no idea what, what happened there. He was usually on the ground, but okay. Well, now we gotta go to that base. That's dumb. There must be different locations for prisoners. Extraction arrived at another base. Horse, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there should be a relay point here, but I will want to go around. Just to avoid confrontation. Try to stay off the road. Actually, as I, as I do this, listen to another cassette. the safety of the Soviet Union's athletes. The United States is increasingly demonstrating the belief that the issue has nothing to do with its preparations, and in fact this is retaliation for the Western nation's boycott of the previous Moscow Olympics. That concludes today's news. That's quite some news. The uh, Soviet Union not attending the LA Olympics? Yeah. Andropov's death has changed some things. They're calling it revenge for the Western boycott of the Moscow Olympics countries boycotted the Moscow Olympics. Yes. In protest of the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan, over 50 countries were absent. It's too bad I didn't get to see Yamashita's judo. When the 40th Army crossed the Amu River four years ago, detente went right out the window. The U.S. Congress chose not to ratify SALT II, and Reagan's hardline politics won in the presidency in a landslide. According to him, the Soviet Union's in Yama Oversupply Outpost. We have a fix on the target's location. We just have to figure out how to get close and pull them out. Check all around the target and plan carefully before moving in. The story never changes. Egypt and Israel did sign a peace treaty. But then the driving force on the Egyptian side, President Sadat, was assassinated afterward. Apparently, his actions were considered a betrayal of his fellow Arabs. Islamic extremists? Yes. Fundamentalist extremists have been responsible for some bold acts of terrorism in recent years. We've had extremist students in Iran take U.S. embassy workers hostage in suicide bombings in Lebanon. Over 300 foreign soldiers stationed there have been killed. The countries have yet to develop an effective means of dealing with terrorism. Afraid of losing their own men, they've pulled their forces out, handing private forces a golden opportunity. Private forces? 
Small armies with no national affiliation, working for the highest bidder. That's right, they got the idea from you. After Mother Base went down, they began spreading to meet the soaring demand. Miller's organization is just one of many PFs now. The entire world is after you. But at the same time, it Analysis needs you too. Complete. Analysis complete. Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember Miller. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but... I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. Analysis I've gone easy complete. on you up until now. Analysis but this is complete. where the hard stuff begins. 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in Colombia, operating with a small Analysis unit of men. Complete. Basically mercenaries. Miller was among them. Miller was trying to find a way to turn his and your talents into a line of work. He was looking to start a business where you would fight on behalf of others around the world. Those who needed military force. But the reality was, at that time, you didn't have enough gear to equip your own men. Then Miller came across this client. It was a huge job he was offering, but you had a shot at pulling it off. You accepted it and headed into Costa Rica. The client even threw in an offshore facility in the Caribbean. The mother base. That would be your new base of operations. Miller sure did have a head for business. As your mission went on, your unit grew and grew. More weapons, more money. Before you knew it, you're commanding 300 men. As the organization... Military power swelled to match. It got so the international community couldn't afford to ignore you. You were just too damn successful for your own good. You, your men, had worn out your welcome. Everyone was out for you. East, West, First World, Third. It was only a matter of time before someone took you down. And that was XOF. Officially, they're an anti-terror unit under the CIA. In reality, they're Cypher's private strike force. They lured you to Cuba using Chico, the Nicaraguan revolutionary kid, and Paz, a mole who worked for Cypher as bait. While you were gone, XOF, posing as a nuclear inspection team, stormed Mother Base. He's coming too. Same time, Roger that. C4 they placed on the strut legs went off. The whole thing went down in minutes. The problem, there are two soldiers in that area, in the cell in front of me. The problem is, once I, if I extract him, then the guards go on high alert. So I almost feel like I should just try to ignore it. Weather will clear shortly. Follow the niece. Use the channels to get closer. The channels. I wish you'd crawl faster though. Come on, baby. Come on. We're almost there. This guy is literally walking top of my head right now. Yep, that guy. I expect to see you. Oh, that held them up there. <laughs> That's cool. How many bodies are we gonna drop here? Caution. 
sandstorm approaching. I can use the sandstorm to my advantage here. Storm, I need you. Hold up, weather, hold up for me. Extraction arrived at the motherbase. I got him. I got him. Yes. It was excellent work. We are here. I wish this thing would come faster, man. It's so long. Oh boy, I got him, I got him, I got him. Hey, Junior. Perfectly timed sandstorm for the win. <laughs> I'm getting shot at, is he? Target extracted. Exfiltrate the hot zone boss. Getting out! We win! Yapa! Oh, they're shooting at us. That's okay. Departing! Sortie! Mission complete and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Yeah, that ass. All righty. Malik's relative was a front to convince us to retrieve him. 
An entire colony just wiped off the map. It sounds a lot like the Hamid during the Honeybee incident. All I know, boss, is there's no way in hell I'm handing Malik over to Cypher. I've decided to bring him back to Mother Base instead. He's one of us now. We told the client through a cutout that the target was killed. For some reason, though, they still paid us everything we were owed. Cypher's obviously up to something. This is probably just another preemptive cleanup operation to them. But to Malik, he lost his village, his family, everything. And he wants his revenge. In other words, he's one of us. Wings. The NGO that asked us to rescue wild animals isn't ready to take them in yet. So we had no choice but to build an animal conservation platform. The NGO said they'll cover all expenses, including the day-to-day -day housing and feeding costs. If you're interested, take a chopper over and have a look. Tough guy. Boss, if you got time on your hands, come spend it back at the base. The men will miss you if you're gone too long. 